Hello everyone, my name is Yulong Chen and welcome to my abstract presentation of my paper A Modular Approach to the Security Analysis of Two Permutation Constructions Due to the SHA-3 hash function competition, more and more constructions are built on public permutations Examples include box ciphers, for example, this two-round if Mansur with trivial box ciphers, this um, trivial if Mansur PRFs, where um, yeah, this is the uh, sum of Eva Mansur and another PRF, which is a permutation based variant of encrypted Davis Mayer. We also have MAC algorithms, which is a permutation based MEHTM, and this TCCR hash function for MPC applications. We see all those constructions are built on two public permutations. The reason for this is because this is the minimum number of F uh, primitive evaluations needed to achieve beyond Bursa bound security. Today, the day most of constructions in symmetric key cryptography are proved using edge coefficient technique. The idea behind edge coefficient technique is that there is only a small set which appears with higher probability than the other, and the small set of transcript that appears with higher probability than the other. That is actually the bad transcript. Then the advantage of the adversary is actually bounded by this blue epsilon term and this um, green probability. In order to perform the proof using a coefficient technique, we need to perform the following three steps. First, we need to define the bad transcript. Then we need to bond the probability of the bad transcripts in the ideal world. In the last step, we need to calculate this blue epsilon, which is related to the probability of the good transcripts in the real world with that in, um, in the ideal world. So we can see that the second step, this green probability of the bad trans transcripts in the ideal world, is actually a totally combinatorial problem. And only relies on the randomness of the used keys, while the first and the last steps actually totally depend on the construction itself. We see that the um, constructions in the previous slide are, all look very similar, then there arises a question whether it's possible to find a modular approach for the first and the third steps such that no yeah, dedicated proof need to be performed every time a new construction is designed. In order to answer this question, we first need to recap um, Batalaya's meal theory. It's a technique used to determine the solution to a system of bifarious equations and non-equations. In order to do that, we need to represent this um, system by a graph where a distinct norm is actually represented by a vertex and an equation is represented by a lambda labeled edge, and a no equation by a lambda dot labeled edge. Then the transcript graph should satisfy the following properties. First, it shouldn't contain a circle. For example, if we have this case, then here it says the distance between those two nodes is equal to lambda one. Well, this also says that the distance between those two nodes is equal to lambda two, which is inconsistent. The graph shouldn't contain any serial path label because if we have this situation, then um, yeah, the distance between those two nodes is equal to lambda, while the distance between those two nodes is also equal to lambda. Well, yeah, those are not the same node. The last property is related to the um, lambda dot labeled edges, so the related to the non equations. It says that there shouldn't be any circles with a lambda dots labeled edge such as this lambda dot is equal to the sum of all the lambda labels in the circle. So if we have this situation, then it says the distance between those two nodes is equal to lambda, while um, the distance between those two nodes is not equal to lambda dot. When lambda dot is equal to lambda, then it's inconsistent. So those are actually the properties that are used to define the bad transcript. However, mu theory is um, as mean for block cipher based constructions. So in order to use it on the permutation based constructions, we need to 
um, generalized idea. So we, in this work, we focus on, on constructions that can be fields like um, the following structure, where A, B, and C are actually functions of secret key, the input, and the output. Then the security analysis of such construction is usually performed in the idea of permutation model, where it accepts the query to the construction, the attacker also has query access to the underlying primitives, pi1 and pi2, which are modeled as random. Therefore, in order to um, use the new theory, we need to handle those primitive queries. We will present those primitive queries by um, unifariate equations and um, add those um, equations to the system. Then we need to generalize um, the mu theory. The resolving theory can be applied to different constructions. In our work, we apply this to the Trigbo if Mansu cipher at Crypto 2015, the um, permutation based EDMPIF at TOSC 2021, and the um, permutation based NEHTM MAC algorithm at Africa Crypt in 2020. Using our model approach, we can simply see that there is actually a flow in the security proof of this MAC algorithm, which um, yeah, the proof is now fixed here and in my other paper with the authors using two different approaches. So using the new technique, we can show the mute use security of those three constructions in a very simple way without performing dedicated um, security analysis each time. Um, yeah, for each construction. So the full presentation of this work can be found on Asia Grid. Thank you for your attention.